Him. Portsmouth has a new city manager again. Stephen Carter was sworn in today after a split. City Council appointed him to the job last month. He is the fourth person to hold the permanent title in the last four years. Stephanie Johnson joins us in the studio. Stephanie, what's Carter's message to the community tonight? Yeah, Dana, new city manager Stephen Carter said he's excited to take on his new role. He emphasized the importance of professionalism, integrity, and accountability. But Carter also says if the city wants to move forward, everyone must work together. I will commit to every citizen in Portsmouth that I did not come here to be a leader with big dreams, but ultimately be someone who cannot be trusted when no one is looking. Friday evening, Portsmouth's new city manager, Stephen Carter, delivered a strong message as he took his oath as city manager. I am fully aware that the vote for my appointment was not unanimous. Carter is right. Last month, city council voted four to three to hire him, and his role does not come without controversy. Since 2020, several different people have filled the position, either on a permanent or interim basis, including Dr. Lydia Pettis Patton, Mimi Terry, Tanya Chapman, and Angel Jones. I am encouraged by the commitment of all seven board members who have pledged to work with me to make Portsmouth all that it can be. Throughout his speech, he emphasized unity, collaboration, and progress for the city. But he said he understands to achieve those goals, the city has to work together. If we genuinely care about our city and our future, we have to stop committing self-inflicted harm to our city, to our people and to our future. Well, days before Carter took his oath of office, former deputy city manager Vernell Woods got fired by then interim city manager Dr. Pettis Payton. Stephanie Johnson, 13 News Now, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Stephanie. And Carter's first day in office will be next Monday, April 22nd.